Welcome to the bold analysis. I am a bit shocked and shattered by what I'm going to tell you next in this podcast. Some two, some three days ago, the names of Aziad, um, Churchill, Dennis Itumbi, and uh, Carol Radun were dropped from, that was on Thursday, a day before launch of Talanta Hela. Their names were dropped from the Talanta Hela committee. And of course, I, there are some that people wondered what they were doing there. In fact, Dennis Itumbi is a CAS in ICT. You know, it was just, there was just a lot of, there was just too much under him that he was doing. I don't know why Churchill was dropped. But what we are seeing and what we had yesterday during the launch of Talanta Hela is something that should worry all of us. MC Jesse, who was the MC, explained that through the Talanta Hela initiative, the Sports Cabinet Secretary Ababu Namwamba and UDA team will traverse the country engaging creatives to create and develop appealing theme song for the UDA party. <laughs> no. Through the support of the CS, UDA and the Secretary General Cleofas Malala, we are looking for a UDA anthem. We will be touring the country with the talented young people. And um, this information was said allegedly to excite um, um, to excite the young people, the creatives that were there. Thank you, SG Malala, because of you, we'll have a big national anthem. MC Jesse said. So let's, let me break it to you. Talanta Hela initiative was an initiative of allowing creatives to monetize their contents and get money from their talents. And talking about talents, it's cutting across music, sports, and the other creatives. All of us. How are we supposed to how are we supposed to convince Kenyans that such an initiative an initiative, how does it what is the correlation between Talanta Hela and a UD party anthem? Ladies and gentlemen, I think we seem to play too much, and that is why I normally say here our problem is governance. You know, when I, I tried asking some, uh, some good friend in the media, my former, actually I asked my former boss somewhere, I asked him, we're just having a very informal talk, I asked, as in, why do you think uh, Carol Radul and, um, and Churchill has been dropped? All of them are from, were from Radio Africa. Carol Radul was working in Radio Africa before he was picked. Churchill still works in Radio Africa. I was so curious. And something that someone who worked with Carol Radul told me, Kevin, Carol Radul is a very strict woman. Very strict. And these are not the kind of people that will not play picky ponky games. In fact, she, she was very happy that someone like Carol Radul was there because she's an epitome of strictness and she will not entertain nonsense. I want to look at you straight in the eye and tell you. Talanta Hela is a government project. It is not a UDA party project. It's not a party project. There is no way we can say that we are considering people under Talanta Hela initiative to come up with a UDA party anthem because William Ruto is rebranding. Uh-uh. 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 And are these some of the reasons why we want to tax people? It simply doesn't add up. It doesn't add up. In that, they're saying William Ruto is rebranding. And is rebranding. That is why the party needs a new anthem. The last election, the anthem was Hatupangwingui. If you remember, you know, the Hatupangwingui was to tell the youths that 
we are ourselves to give them self entitlement that despite of what the government is saying we have our space william ruto is rebranding uda party has monthly subscriptions from members of parliament elected through the party the uda party is also a beneficiary of political parties fund just like other parties they have financial autonomy i honestly think that if you the party is looking for a new party anthem then they just need to do it within the party ranks and not to bring it into latahela how is a sg of uda party supposed to work with a cs of sports and talents to bring to get an anthem from ah uh -uh. no so where is he going to be paid now the anthem belongs to the party and the initiative will be to come up with the anthem is through talanta hela so are we using public money that is supposed to be used to help people get monetize their talents to run a party, party affair and we're just saying it's good it's well of us no oh no our problem is governance and i do believe we need to fix governance i think to help the youth creatives as ruto asked to ensure that the systems at the music copyright society of kenya mcsk are digitized to aid them in monetizing their content no problem this deals with sports our sports is struggling just the other day afc players the captain mukangula and theongo were dropped from the squad because they protested non payment of their allowances and salaries Recently a former Gormaia player auctioned Gormaia bus because of his dues. Our sport is struggling. And we promised that we are going to help, but then the whole thing has turned political. How can we use Tanada Hela money to pre to procure a national anthem for the UDA party? Ah, even if why don't we say of getting ourselves a new national anthem for the country because for the uda party it's for the party this country not all of us not all can subscribe to the uda party ideals and i don't believe taxpayers money should be collected under talanta hela and whatever comes from it that kit is used to uh, maybe someone can uh, challenge me on that simply it doesn't make a it doesn't make any little sense but why is Ruto rebranding? Why is Ruto rebranding? Rebranding because the man he campaigned as a chief hustler has he stopped becoming a chief hustler? <laughs> what what is it? You know, recently Nation ran and and uh, that was NTV. They've been criticized on that on uh, they've done two stories. One is that Mamboga lady from Kiambu who complained that after endorsing William Ruto and they were used as campaign flowers to say for lack of a better word to endorse William Ruto's image as a hustler and after William Ruto got power they were pushed to the periphery and no help then i think government rushed there and did something gave, gave her something then she would then come and retract the spread statement that that video was taken against her knowledge which i honestly do know that she saying she was given 300,000 after the presidential debate but ato kiangalia maleluka meka i don't think the life of that lady did not change that woman had not changed that's the truth that's the gospel truth so even those who wanted to interview her would have gone to do that interview in his house no those communication can generally be talk when you want to do that you want to change that story you don't go to do the same interview in the same place yes some of these things you could even ask us you want to show that you gave her 300,000 go and do that interview in her house make a makeshift house semi and aishi hapa put a gate then show people her lifestyle then people will understand that at least you helped the lady but the same story the same market no <laughs> i think even the guys that were trying to do crisis communication to do a rejoinder got it wrong but why is ruto rebranding why is the president rebranding ahead of 27 i want to tell you president william ruto campaigned on a platform of camouflaging as the youth as a man who was a hustler 
But when he got into power, he got the reality. And the reality here is number one, he's not a hustler and he was not and has never been one. That's what he realized. There has never been one. And with the inaugural budget that was bred, it is clearly that the better, the bottom-up economic transformation agenda, the budget is not in conformity with the bottom-up economic transformation agenda. And clearly, the voters have detached. Even us, uh, immediately, immediately after swearing in, I used to look at the comment section and do analysis. And you'll find some few William Ruto sympathizers who would come and abuse you and insults and, you know, they vent their frustrations to your analysis. And in fact, they will always brand you as someone who does not say the truth, as someone who does not just like the fact that William Ruto is a president. Now, go to the comment section. You realize that those people nowadays are not here. They're not. Those who used to come and profile us are not there because as what we do, the kind of analysis that we do now, we don't say it in respect to Raila. We say it in respect to the people of Kenya. Talanta Hela has nothing to do with Azimio. And it's true, you cannot use taxpayers' money to run to get an anthem for the ruling party. There is no way that is going to add, while the party has a budget. So clearly, you realize that, and that's what, just that's one indication that William Ruto's voters detached. In fact, they left. <laughs> Some of them withdrew. They, they don't want, they don't want, because they have really been mocked and asked, what did you give us? Is this the president that you promised us? Is this what you gave us? And now, that's one reason. Number two, the intelligence is telling William Ruto that he's totally being killed in the social media. The Kenyan youths in TikTok, especially the TikTok generation, has done, I don't know, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. I'm seeing them employing the middle class, some, some bloggers, some polished bloggers with very long texts in Twitter pages, and, and, and they're also targeting some of us, <laughs> me being one of them, maybe, I'm not sure, but maybe I'm also being on the radar. But there is a TikTok generation. Look what the TikTok generation are saying. <laughs> There's so much destructive, and for them, there is the way you hear them talking, Look at the Jacaranda camp. Look at what they say. They're destroying William Ruto. And because there are a lot of anger, what William Ruto has realized is in 2027, it will be very simple. One word, Ulitudanganya. In fact, the song should be Hatudanganyui. That Hatupanguingui should change to Hatudanganyui. That will be it. I don't know. Creatives should come up with something. Instead of saying atupanguingui, should we now be atudanganyui? Because just simple as that. And that's why it is going to use these creatives. You know, these creatives have influence in social media. You don't want to use them. And I've realized that the taxation of the content creators is going to bring a problem. So for smoothening, because these content creators are very influential. That's one thing for sure I can tell you. The content creators are very influential personalities. So, because they're going to tax them and there's going to be that anger, they're actually going to lead the la line in criticizing government. I want to be very honest. My position here is, even us as content creators, we should pay tax. No problem. That is not questionable. But we should also be heard that America is taking 25%. There is no way the government of Kenya can take 30%, 10 to 15%. That will be 40%. Someone getting 100,000 will go home with 60,000. Ladies and gentlemen, at a civil servant who are earning 100, the pie is around 30%. You know, and for them, they're working for government and there are some amenities that have been given. See, see, there is nothing. The government of Kenya does not have any loan. There is no loan facility for content creators to buy a camera. There is no special access to Wi-Fi. There is totally nothing. So, at least, let's just argue on we must pay. We are Kenyans and we are also obligated to pay because we will, of course, if you're earning, for me, if you're earning 100, there's no problem. We can pay. But at least, because US has taken 25%, take even 5. 
take even five. You still scoop something so that you don't kill it. You also don't kill upcoming YouTubers and upcoming content creators. I think for me, those who've been asking what was my position, that's my position in it. Lastly, William Ruto campaigned last general election using a tool against Uhuru Kenyatta, the attacks on Uhuru Kenyatta. Now that's not there. And that is why he's no longer a hustler. He must change into something else. Number two, there is no Uhuru Kenyatta. Akuna mtu taletea makasiriko. There is no one you're going to vent your anger to. You must change. You must face the facts. And because there is no track record, clearly, it is just another thing of creating a campaign euphoria. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm disappointed. I don't know what you think. Is it fair to use taxpayers' money to make an anthem for UDA party? Ah, uh -uh. I'm done. Now, are you in art, in need of art, uh, interior designs? That one, I'm talking about tiling, interior designs like uh, partitioning, the kitchen, both residential and commercial. You have a lounge, you have a business somewhere, and you need interior design. Then you need to contact Kwango Art and Design. Kwango Art and Design is an amazing, amazing, amazing team. You can be in a position to work together. You work on a compromise cost so that both of you make it lighter. And with that, they'll be positioned in a position to come to your place, take the measurements, and you have an agreement. That's the beauty of it, that they are flexible across the country. Reach out to them here, plus 254-710-444-353. Plus 254-710-444-353. Kwango Art and Design. The best in town. Just the best in town. Thank you.